No boost pad pickups. Sure. Yeah. Um, <coughs> we'll start with that one. Yeah, I don't know how to intro this because we've been talking so long that we kind of introduced. Yeah. <laughs> We're kind of comfortable already. Yeah, we've been we've been here for about twenty minutes, guys, uh, <laughs> talking about life and all that stuff. Yeah, as I say, there's just so few people that look at anything the way that we do because they're just still in high school. The, the that's their world. Yeah, like the world is. I get on the game I play and. Mm -hmm. It's not like it's like these guys make crazy money for their age and it's it's and they're insane. they're not doing anything with it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are like some people do make the jump and Summer. I love I love to yeah. see that. Like I love that squishy like at, at a young age he jumped in when he did. Yes, yeah, super and smart. It's really smart of him. Uh yeah, let's do that. I'm going to change the team names. We're both doing no big boost pads. Yeah, let's let's both do no no big okay, boost. Okay, I'll pads change the names then cuz I have hungry cause, hungry. Yeah, yeah cuz oh, okay. <laughs> I was thinking like the fact that we're both two coaches, we're both kind of showing that like with specific strategy, you can still be relevant. Oh, I like that. I actually do like that. We can do that. Uh, let me just change the, uh, I actually think this, this is the, uh, the, the first time that this has been done. I think we like a double coaching feature. Do you think that's like, well, like you, you were saying before, do you think oh, this is going to be fair? Yeah. Uh, I think it will. Yeah, I think that it, it creates enough of a handicap for both of us that it might bring us down to the Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Or, because now we both have to think outside of our element a little bit. Think outside the box, especially because like I, oh, I see the strategy. He's gonna bump me into it. Okay. Oh, so that's tough. Like if I'm sitting there uh, trying to control the ball in front of the big pad like that. Yeah, let the ball I go. Can't, I can't fifty it in a certain way if I want to. Yeah, or else you'll land. Yeah, you'll land on the, on the ball here. All right, all right. Watch out! Oh, <laughs> that was close. A little drifty. Oh yeah, yeah, because I don't get that. Don't. Oh, nice. I think get that boost. Oh, nice oh. shot. Thanks, man. Yeah, like I almost ran into the boost there. It is a little bit scary. <laughs> yeah, it, it is a little bit nerve-wracking because you really have to like overthink your movement when you're near that boost. I've never personally done one of these challenges, so it, okay. it, I think I did do it with. I think I did it with Rapid in the like the ranked thing. Like the uh, the Road to Grand Champion, but not ever like okay. a challenge thing, one v one. Yeah, like there, I was like, I gotta conserve my boost here, because if I overcommit, I can't pick up a hundred and rotate back. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know what you mean. And it's also weird because there's no race for like, uh, like the big boost. Yeah. Ugh. There's no race for the big boost okay. on the. On the... Oh. Yeah, the positioning is gonna be like everybody's gonna be on the ball at all times. Uh oh. All right, respect it. So you still play the game a lot. I do. I put hours in because um, one of the biggest things that I've kind of figured out is that everything in this game, like people think that there's like, oh, that mechanic will never be useful. You can never use it in rank. There is, it's not about like using a mechanic all the time nice and making it useful. It's just like, I don't think it's in. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Yeah. Nice. Um, every, every mechanic I think has a place and a time. It, it's some just how it's like, just how many times will it be will it, will it right, be needed like, right some will be one in a million some will be one every 10 like it's just but i like to sit and free play a lot and put hours in just learning more about the game yeah so it's, like, it's like it's like that uh a good example is that uh the flakes turtle flick like that one in a million play it happened and it worked and because right. he knows how to do it oh my <laughs> nice touch um like it's just the fact that he knew how to do it it worked right. out for that one opportunity and so and when you know how to do something, um, not only do you know how to do it, you know how it, it feels to do it. Like you understand the mechanic and you can understand how to defend it better against someone else who can do it. It's like that the thing people say, right? They, they're like, oh, why why can't I, uh, why would I practice double taps in this situation when like the defender right. will be there? It's like, well, what about the one time that he's not? That he's not. <laughs> yeah. And you it's can't like, you score. Like, well, I've never practiced double taps from here. I'm not gonna do it, but that's the only way you can score. I nice shot. Um, yeah, exactly. Like you have to, you have to know what you're doing in every situation, and the more you can practice, right. there's not really any downside to it. Obviously, you don't want to do dumb practicing. Mm -hmm. Like you don't want to just you want to you want to practice smart. No! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I had to do one back to you after that fake on that goal. Yeah. I mean, luckily for me, I've never been a player, and so I've never had to worry about keeping my level of play consistently like smart. And yeah, yeah. I try, to, I 
try to play smart, but like I mess around a lot. Like I, I feel like I might mess around more than I take the game seriously, just because I'm always trying to find something new, somewhere new to use something. And it's been amazing working with somebody like Astral because I'll, I'll show him something that I find and he'll immediately like perfect it and use it in a way that yeah, yeah in like a competitive setting yeah yeah and i've crazy. seen your your twitter like you you have a lot of unique shots and stuff or like some, something that happens um and you're like oh look at this thing i just found out <laughs> yeah like i try to post that kind of stuff because somebody's gonna figure out somewhere to use it oh know? no it's right like, on the boost <laughs> <laughs> right like you, i can come in there and like make you hit it in a way you don't want to okay not All necessary right. <laughs> no dude <laughs> Yeah. That was so awkward in that corner with the boost pad. Like, yeah, because you have to wait. If yeah. you want to do something with that ball, you have to wait. That's so awkward. But yeah, like that's the thing. Like being a pro is it's more than just being good at the game. It's to stay good. Yeah, yeah, and like, and you have to take like everything in, basically every all mm -hmm. knowledge. Nice shot. I'm getting caught out here because I'm, I'm used to like turning into that boost and like going, yeah. but I have having, to be careful. Having that shadow angle. Yeah, I can't just drive away because <laughs> I'm gonna hit the boost. <laughs> I mean, I can see it anyway, but uh, -uh. not happening. Oh, I keep running into that boost. <laughs> All right, it's fine. Yeah, you have like zero boost, don't you? No, I have so much. You're uh huh. Good. Yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> yep, I want a shadow, but you don't have enough boost to recover it, though. Close. Oh my! Ah! Don't run to that boost. <laughs> there we go. Same to you. Oh damn it! Yeah, I had zero like from. The yeah, I know. Like, I, could, <laughs> I could tell from like the way you're driving. Like he's just gonna flip into this. I'll try to. Like... <laughs> it's a low my econ game. So bad. It is very different to like change up how I'm driving around because I want to just yeah. hit that ball into the into nice. the yeah into the wall there. <laughs> muscle yeah, memory is no, like yeah, yeah. it's hard to fight the muscle memory. For sure. I mean, you could find those openings though. Like, I don't have to go for that boost. I could just bring it in. Because what are you gonna do in that situation? Right. In, in ones, like, there's a lot of. That. I mean, in every game, but in any kind of one v one situation, like, there's those moments where it's like it's more efficient to just throw the ball and take your shot instead of like setting it up and like getting comfortable it's just like find that opening right away yeah because they they are just as uncomfortable as you are and you mm -hmm. have the the small advantage with the ball that like yeah it's just they, that they have to react. yeah they have to react it to it and it's yeah it's interesting that's why like i like ones at the same time as i hate it because it's it's a different chess game compared to other for games. a very long time i hated ones and the reason i hated them is because i was bad at them and so <laughs> so i think that's uh, most people <laughs> And, and then you just described like 80% of the, <laughs> the game. Yeah. And, and so for a long time, I just, I didn't play ones because I was like, I'm bad at them. I don't, I'm bad at them. And so I lose and I don't have fun. Uh, and I got grand champ in every other game mode, but ones for nine seasons. Cause it was season nine that I focused on ones. Oh, nice flick. Thanks. Um, and in season nine, I just focused on ones. Cause I was like, you know what? The reason I'm bad at ones is because I don't play them. I'm sick of telling myself I'm not going to play them because I'm bad at them because then I'll never get good at them to play them. Yeah, so it's the same. Nine, it's, it's the crutch, right? Like people play twos and threes because like, oh, I maybe it wasn't my fault sort of thing. Yeah, right. When it's when it's ones, you just you learn so much faster because you can't make excuses. You yep. can never blame someone but yourself. Oh, that's great. Like, I don't really play them anymore. Like I, I think I've learned all I can from them. I think, I mean, the game's always changing and the meta's changing, right. but I feel like I can learn faster in 2v2 oh, now than, than, <laughs> than, uh, ones or twos, or ones or, like, twos even, like, threes. Oh, oh no. <laughs> At the end, too. Yeah. Yeah, like, you're, you're saying, like, mechanically, you've, you've got as much as you need, and you're looking more for game sense from those game modes. Yeah, like, everyone says, like, oh, why don't you do more mechanical stuff in ones? It's like, because I know, I, I have the hours of knowledge of how many times I've failed that in a competitive mm -hmm. setting, I'm not going to choose that option over the other ones. You know what I mean? Like, I, that's why EU is not as mechanical looking in ones. They have the ability, I think, most of the time. It's just that they they're decide not to. Yeah, they're disciplined. They won't do it because they don't want to. You know, concede. They're more more concerned about a, a level-headed game rather than yeah. rather than go for the chance. Two people who live and breathe this game are talking about <laughs> the game they live and breathe. 
God, it's so, so funny to think. Like, uh, two years ago, I was some nobody working a serving job that just liked playing Rocket League a lot. And then just like investing as much time into it as I have, I've become somebody who eats, sleeps, and, and lives Rocket League. Yeah, like I'm always thinking about the next thing to do, right? Like, it's just how I, how I have to live it. Oh, did I save it? Oh, nice. That's um, so close. Like nowadays, because I make maps and stuff, it's like, what what could I change? What could I make into a map? Yeah. Like I've got League of Legends, like Summoner's Rift. I have the whole map model, and uh, I'm creating it into like a game mode where you have to score it at a turret, and that turret will be that turret will nice. be deactivated, um, and then yeah. you have to like get to the hub and it's, stuff. You're you're the only person in your field. You're the only person doing it. So like you can't pull ideas from other people. Yeah, exactly. Like it's literally all my brain. Like I get, I get recommendations from I like. There's a Discord where people like give suggestions and stuff, and a lot mm -hmm. of it is unattainable. Like it's like they're like asking me to code the game, sort of. Um, where that's not possible, so I have to like go within my own limits of what yeah. they what they allow me to do, sort of. Did I, I just cut that ball infield thinking I was like he's gonna go for this corner boost? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you yeeted that! Oh no. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice hit. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's like weird. Your brain goes into like automatic autopilot mode, where it's like, oh, I gotta do this because they're gonna go here. Yeah. But in this situation, it is very different. It's a different game. Oh, nice, nice shot. Oh, close. I guess we'll do like a set of three. I guess. Yeah, we'll do a best of best of three then. Oh, I'm not trying to say I'm gonna win this, but I'd love I'd love to do three games regardless. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's sort of like what John. Oh, nice hit. So sort of what like John does. Ooh. Oh. Oh, don't hit that boost. I wanted to. Oh, nice touch. I don't know if I can get it though. Okay, I can. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I jumped. I went to space. <laughs> went to the moon and back. <clears throat> yeah, I got a little flick off the side there. It's spooky around those corners though. I don't want to like accidentally yeah. hit one. You don't want to overcommit, but you also don't want to end up on top of a boost. Oh. Try to get pads while I'm trying to like keep I know, pressure. There's like so many moments I'm just trying to like out econ you. I'm like, if I just don't use boost here while he is, maybe I'll end up with the ball on a free shot. <laughs> I want a challenge. Yeah, come I on, can't. come into that boost. Come on. There we go. I was trying to bait you into driving through it. Watch out. I would never. <laughs> oh, let's go. All right. Interesting. All right, get out of get out of my corner here. I just waited for you to challenge that one. It was pretty good. Oh, we're getting we're getting intense here. Yeah, we're starting to kind of uh, go get a used more to efficient. the yeah. I save. Oh, the bumps. Nice. Oh no. Oh, okay, so there we go. Okay. <laughs> I thought I had the angle with the the shot there. Yeah, I didn't even trust the shot. I was like, no way. No way. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty tight. I only had twenty boosts there. Yeah, it is pretty even le like level playing field because it's still unique to everybody like involved. Right, you're breaking how you think the game, like how you think the game's supposed to go. Yeah, it plays out totally different in my head because I, I want to do the most efficient thing, which is just like go balls to the grab wall, speed hundred. over to the. <laughs> yeah, grab the hundred. Like, it, it's just those small things. Like this will help you. Oh gosh, this will be helpful yeah, for. Like you're not allowed to dive in and recover because you just can't recover really. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> People's recoveries nowadays are so fast, like uh, with how they move and stuff. You can't yeah, really like you can't. Go ahead. Uh, I was just the movement in this game has gotten so advanced that like it, it's it's no longer like choppy in any way. There's just like always fluid. Nice. Oh, oh I thought you got that. Oh, that was bad. All right. <laughs> I had to turn ball cam off there to dodge that. <laughs> oh, I thought you were ready to do oh. it. Almost, almost. What just happened? 
Ow. <laughs> this game is <laughs> it's, got, it's gotten it's to a, a chess match. Ball. We're playing chess when it's supposed to be checkers. Nice, good positioning. Okay, let's see this. Close. All right. Maybe you won't expect me to have boost here. Now that I said it. I know. I was like, wait, is he trying to mind game me or? Uh, I mean, who knows? Who knows? Should be all right. Oh. Oh, that was such a bad pinch. Nice recovery. Close. I keep giving the ball away because I'm used to like going faster. Like around yeah, the corner. Yeah, have a chance to yeah. rotate differently. Oh, that's going to be it too. Oh, nice, nice oh, shot. So close. Yeah, I keep giving the ball away. That's the problem because like, I'm want to. like i used to just flicking there and then I go for the mid boost and I'll push yeah. up. That flick will buy you some time. Yeah. There we go. No. Oh, the bump. Yeah, I went to bump you, but it, like on my bump on you, it lifted me off the ground too, and that's what killed me. Yeah, I gotta keep remembering too that you're gonna be closer than I think, because you're gonna yeah. you don't have to go for the mid, right? <laughs> yeah, you have to. So that's what I'm trying to get used to on these turns. Oh, it's like it, see, my head instantly goes to oh cool, he bumped me to get the boost and the ball now. <laughs> but there's no, yeah, there's no <laughs> boost. I know you're gonna challenge there. I don't know why I didn't go. Nice. Oh, don't miss. Oh, okay, good. No, we don't miss those. Yeah, nice. <laughs> like, I know you're gonna challenge. I don't know why I just sat there. I could have flicked it over. Like, it, me be waiting there is gonna just be bad for, for me. Nice. Good finish. GG. GG. All right, we got a final game. Let's go. Yeah. Who has the higher IQ with no with big no boost. big boost? Yeah, you gotta like <laughs> you gotta like think about it really differently. For me, I wanna make sure I have the best option and I think yeah. with with just going for no big boost sometimes I I just sit there kind of idle you know what I mean yeah you just you always have to be thinking like even without going for that boost you have to yeah still be, exactly you know using your movement efficiently and what's weird is I think it would be actually be easier if like you were going for big boost because I would I would give that extra space but oh, it's actually oh did you get one yeah yeah no I passed over one. Oh, damn. Routine, but like I think it's actually harder that you're doing the yeah. same thing as me because you're gonna position differently than what I'm expecting, which actually makes it way more interesting. I kind of like it. You don't get that extra bit of time. No! <gasps> oh no, he did it again. <laughs> That's like those awkward moments where you're yeah. like right in the middle. Yeah, like I'm not even thinking about that boost. I'm just thinking about my movement to shadow you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, that'll happen. I've been trying to avoid that. Sometimes, like, I'll be in a spot where I want to turn. I'm like, wait, if I turn here, I might get the boost. Put that in a spot where you have to stay with it awkwardly. I know you have, don't have very much boost. No, what a good 50. Okay, that's fine. Nice. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, nice save. It's funny because you dying there actually gives you more boost than I have because I can't. <laughs> no, I, I, oh, we'll I got it. Yeah. I knew I was going to we'll land on it. <laughs> nice shot. Thank you. Put a lot of effort yeah, into, put a lot one, sure to, into the open net there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Down to the wire. Don't make me land on that, please. Thank you. Close. Oh, mother. Did you get it? Yes. Oh, God. no. I even hit the, like, that was autopilot mode where my brain went, great. <laughs> I pulled him out of position. Let me go steal his boost. <laughs> yeah. I was like, why is he going in that corner? I was going to turn it All in. I was like, my goals. I'm yeah. Giving you with 100 boost. Oh, nice flick. what a save, too, though. And make you keep saving it with. I know. What a save! Yeah, I calculated that one. Uh huh. Oh, don't don't get the boost. Uh uh. <laughs> no, nice shot. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, all, like except for that goal, all three of them were like just boost grabs. 
It's unfortunate. I think you definitely have my number this game though. I've been trying to stay a little bit closer. I've been realizing like I was like being way too idle. Nice. On like my turns and stuff. Oh, nice kill. Oh, post. I was definitely just being like way too like slow. I wasn't like doing anything. I wasn't being decisive with my mo motion. Nice shot. Yeah, that's something that I discovered after I got to like mid tier grand champ, like 16, 1700. I was like part of the reason, and that's when I switched to only playing ones. I was like, part of the reason I'm not as good at this game is because I always question if I can do what I think I want to do. I don't ever just so go to do So lack of confidence. That's like a yeah. big thing. And so that's when I focused on ones. I was like, I'm just going to start focusing on thinking of something to do and then just doing it. And if it doesn't work, learning why it didn't work. Oh, nice. Good speed. Thanks. So I, uh, yeah, when I focused on just playing ones, that's when I was like, I'm just going to do whatever I think I should do. And if I execute it right, I'm now I, I have that confidence to know I can do it. And if I mess it up, where did I mess it up so that I can get it right the next well, time? Well, your best teacher is always failure, right? Like, 100%. You're not going to learn anything if you don't fail. So, you know, I, that's why I think like some teams that like win all the time in scrims, they're going to be the ones that crum like crumble under pressure in, in like an like RLCS finals or league play. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I'm I talked to piece. Panda because like. I was always curious about what their, you know, how how the Dignitas dynasty was able to be so successful for so long. Nice. Um, thanks. And I talked to him and he was like, honestly, we didn't even put that much time into practicing. We were just, we were all good together. We, we worked on, and I was like... Chemistry, you know, right? Yeah, it was just chemistry. And I was like, imagine how good they could have been if they just sat down and worked on stuff all day. Actually, day. I, that's the thing though. There's actually like two sides to it. It's like, do you overwork though? Because... Sometimes in this yeah, game, yeah, it's yeah. mental. Like the mental game is way too Exhaustion. high. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no. So for sure, like not necessarily like if they worked absolutely every second of their lives, but like if they put the because he was like, we didn't watch replays, we didn't, you know, we didn't change anything about how we played. And it's like, imagine if they went and found the small issues they did make and fix those. Oh, don't back up into the boost. I know I had to move awkwardly in a way I did not want to. I think that's maybe too high, yeah. Oh. There we go. This is the position you want to be in. Oh, what a save. A little bit choreographed, fortunately. The movement you had there. <laughs> Wait, the, the <laughs> wave dash thing? <laughs> Yeah, like with the wave dash thing, you jumped and you tilted down right away. So yeah. I was like, okay, he's not shooting it high. Yeah, the thing is, I couldn't use the boost I wanted to to, to go yeah. down faster because I don't have it. But in a, like in a faster play, obviously I would, I would just uh, boost down a little bit faster. Right. It's like every boost pad matters a little more. Oh, it absolutely does. Like every little bit of boost that you use is just like this could be the last time I ever get boost. Oh, nice. I don't want to touch I'm, the yeah, boost. I'm not, I'm not too worried about the aerial plays. <laughs> uh, I had I had enough boost to make something happen, but I just wasn't sure. Like, it, but what. if you mess it up, though, it's like you're done. I just I gotta not mess it up, you know? So <laughs> if, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Is like, I, I'm not worried about him because I'm like, okay, if he's good enough to get this with that, you know, 30 boost, I'll give it to him. Oh, that <laughs> oh, bounce no. is unfortunate. Nice. Oh, I even jumped just a little bit too late. You're gonna you're spawn right here. Oh, uh, <gasps> yep, yes. I knew it. I guessed and held the boost. Nice flicks. Thanks. Oh, nice. There yeah, I just I was like, only chance of saving this <laughs> is if I tape spawn it down. on that side. So if I spawn on the wrong side, it's already a goal. <laughs> tape it down and just hope it works. And it did. That was crazy. There you go. Oh. oh. Nice yeah, thanks. Yeah, I think this game, what I just did was, I just like, I played the game we're playing. Instead of yeah, just- Yeah, no, you focus more on the pads. Yeah. Like playing the strategy of this game instead of, like you, 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 you didn't have to fight the habits anymore because you were kind of in the mindset. Oh, what a flick. A little bit more. Yeah, exactly. I'm just like, once you get used to it, like that's what pros are so good at, I find, is that mm -hmm. the adaptation is faster. Like. There's times, definitely, where I feel like ranked players are just doing things better than pros. <laughs> Gotta be honest with you, like there's sometimes where yeah. it's like, holy crap, what do they just do? The mechanics, yeah. And it's just the adaptations yeah. in a competitive environment that are so much 
heavier on a player than like just sitting in ranked and hoping you win a game. Yeah, I couldn't like I couldn't imagine the pressure that's on a player because when we were on stage, like that's the first time I've ever been involved in the professional scene like that at a LAN. Uh, and, and when we were on stage like that, my heart was beating out of my chest as as a, as a coach. And like, yeah, and I, I felt pressure on me just like to have them perform well because it's like we've been working so long to get here and like this is what we've been. That was doing yeah, it was the same for me. For. In Montreal, like I was so, I felt so yeah. weird. Like, especially because it was the first time coaches were allowed on stage. Yeah. Yep. Like, this big, this big pressure on your shoulders to do a good job. And so I couldn't imagine the pressure of a player where it's like, your decisions in the moment matter. Like, for me, my decisions, I don't have to think of stuff in the moment. I can sit there, watch, and think about something and go, okay, this is what we could do for the next game. But you've, got, player, you've got your fans, you've got your, your org, you've got your coach, even depending on you, and you've got your family, yeah. all that stuff. There's so much. Yep. And yep. like, take that and a player who hasn't played in a competitive environment and they think they can do what the pros do it's like obviously yeah. it's it's anyone's I game i don't know how astral did it i don't i couldn't tell you does it's, it's unreal to me how composed he was for his first season up there yeah no kidding it's crazy they did really well like, that was a really good season for them definitely check out verge he's he only has 20 uploads but he does like amazing like t tutorial kind of videos like you can explain it if you want so yeah i mean my, my channel um my youtube channel it, it's not new it's not a new channel it's been, it's been up for a year i've been uploading but it, uh, i'm slow to upload just because I, I don't have time to work on content but i i put as much effort into these videos as i can uh, i try to make cinematic tutorials a video that you'll sit down and enjoy watching um and not realize you're learning something because it's not some 40 minute video teaching how to do something it's like a under 10 minute video every time for the tutorials and it's it's a cinematic experience it, it feels like a movie and, and then at the end of it you kind of go oh i guess i learned a few things along the way um but i just i try to put in as much information in those videos as I can um, and and I try to upload as frequently as I can but they do take quite a bit of effort and time so it takes me a little bit of time in between each one yeah a lot of uh, editing so, <laughs> yeah tons tons and tons of editing but I, I enjoy it a lot I really I really like helping people get better at this game uh, especially for me like that's I just like learning about this game and, and being able to share that with other people because when you know being uh, somebody who started playing this game in preseason we didn't have that luxury of somebody showing you what to do next right. we, we were just like figuring it out and, and so if I can you know make my 6,000 hours of experience someone else's 2,000 hours to get where I'm at that'd be great that's like the whole goal so um, definitely check those videos out if you're interested in, in learning more about the game cool yeah, that's awesome. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, I no worries. Fun as well, we should yeah. definitely do more of these. Yeah, uh, for I sure. Know that I'm